So, good morning and welcome to Beginners, particularly for this one. It's a beginner's tutorial. Paint your world with Colour Picker, an affinity tutorial for beginners. Now, how to use the Colour Picker tool in Affinity is a very useful thing to be able to have. And you can use any of Designer, Photo or Publisher for this. In this tutorial, we'll guide you on utilising the Colour Picker tool in Affinity Designer. This tool enables you to sample colours from any part of your screen. And these sample colours are conveniently stored in Affinity Designer's swatches for seamless accessibility ensuring consistency across projects. The two methods of accessing the Colour Picker tool will be explained below. While we opted to demonstrate using the Shape tool in this tutorial, feel free to use any design tool, including the Pen tool, for crafting your own shapes. Method 1. Use the Colour tab on the right side. Upon opening a new document in Affinity Designer, locate the colour panel on the right hand side. In case the colour panel is not visible, navigate to View Studio Colour and ensure to tick the option to open the panel. Opt for your preferred colour view, such as wheel, sliders, boxes or tint. In this tutorial, we're utilising the wheel. If the wheel isn't visible, access the burger menu in the top right. Click to open the menu and select Wheel. Locate the Colour Picker tool on the right of your design area. It's represented by the eyedropper icon. Now we drew out various shapes as examples for this tutorial just to get us started. Quite simple. To apply colour to any object, using the colour wheel, begin by selecting your shape. Subsequently, click on the outer ring of the wheel to choose a colour. Additionally, clicking anywhere within the triangle will adjust the colour's intensity, making it lighter or darker. Clicking on the wheel will alter the colour of your object, and you also have the option to adjust the opacity of the colour. So you can move that little slider up and down as you need. Within the colour panel, you'll find the eyedropper tool. Upon clicking the tool, hold down your mouse button and drag the eyedropper anywhere on the screen. Don't let the key go yet though, don't let the mouse go. The colour preview at the eyedropper's location will be sampled when clicked, in other words, when you let the mouse go. The sample colour will be displayed in the dot next to the eyedropper. And you can see there's a red dot there, right at the end of the arrow, but it's still a purpley colour in the main circle. That's as it should be. Now when you click on that little dot, it will apply the red to the main circle. You have the option to sample colour beyond the program's workspace including extracting colours from websites. And you can see I've got an image appearing underneath the working image we're on, and I've dragged the eyedropper down there and sampled the skin colour of the model in the photo. The colour you've sampled will now appear beside the eyedropper. To apply this colour, ensure your object is selected, and then click on the small circle adjacent to the eyedropper. Your sample colour will be applied accordingly. On the left side toolbar, you'll also come across a colour picker tool. It's worth noting that this option has limitations, allowing you to select the colour solely from within the workspace. Ensure your object is selected, then either use the eyedropper tool to sample a colour from within your existing workspace, or directly click on a colour from the wheel. For colour sampling, click the colour picker tool on the left side toolbar. Move your cursor over an area in the workspace and click on a colour to sample. There's no need to hold down your mouse button in this case. The active state of the colour picker tool is indicated by crosshairs, as distinct from 
preview method in method 1. Upon sampling, the colour is automatically applied. Explore the option of using photos to sample colours and build colour palettes. With this knowledge, you can proficiently employ the Colour Picker tool in Affinity Designer, effortlessly capturing colours from diverse objects or images to enhance and personalise your designs. It's worth noting that the Colour Palette tool is accessible across all three Affinity apps. Quite interchangeable. I hope you enjoyed this, begin this beginner tutorial. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Go ahead. Make my day. Subscribe.